Hey everyone, this is Ben. In this video, I'll show you how to deploy a weed app like React, View, or others on GitHub pages using GitHub Actions. Let's get started. To start, let's create an app using Bit. Select your preferred framework. I select view. Okay, go to the project directory. Run npm install. And npm run dev to see it on local. Okay. Just a simple view app. Alright, let's deploy it on GitHub. First, go to the GitHub website and log in into your account. Create a new repository. And make sure it is public. Okay. First, here in the project directory, run git init to create a git repository and add all files to the staging area and commit. Set the branch name to main or whatever you want. Then add the remote. If you are not familiar with adding remote and connecting local repository to a remote repository on GitHub, there is a video on this channel that can help. And finally push it. All right. Here is our app source code. All right, let's see the Vite documentation for deployment on vitejs.dev. Go to the Deploying a Static Site section and click on GitHub Pages. First, we need to set the correct base in vite.config.js. If you want to deploy your app on the root domain of your GitHub Pages site, you need to set the base to a single forward slash. But for now, I want to deploy it on my GitHub pages site slash repository name. So I must set the base to a forward slash followed by repository name. And I will tell you about the root domain in the next few minutes. Go to your project directory and open vit.config.js. And here set the base to forward slash followed by the repository name. Save it. Okay. Add it. And commit. and push it to the GitHub. Next, we need to go to GitHub Pages Settings in the Repository Settings. 
Then set the source of deployment as GitHub Actions and create a workflow. Here is the workflow. Just copy it. Go to the repository settings. Scroll down and from the left menu click on pages. And here set the source to GitHub Actions. Then here click on create your own. Set a name for it. Deploy.yml and delete all the sample content and paste the copied workflow code here. Then commit it. Okay, let's see what will happen. Go to the Actions tab and wait a few seconds. And you can see that it's working in progress. Done. Our web app is now available here at my github.io slash my app. And if I want to update my app, first let's pull to update our local repository. All right, let's update the main page. I add a simple HTML tag here. Save it. And before commit and push, let me put the actions tab here to see live what will happen when we push. Add changes. Commit. And push. We can see that it will automatically start build and deploying. Refresh the page and OK. Now let's see how to deploy an app on the root domain. For deploying on the root domain, you need to create a repository with this name, your GitHub username, dot github dot io okay let's create another app This time I choose React. Go to the project directory. NPM install. And now we just need to set the base to a single forward slash. Go to the project directory and open wheat.config.js. Set the base, a single forward slash, and in the project directory, create a repository, add all,
and OK. Commit. Set the branch. Add the remote. And push it. All right. Go to the settings. Pages. Set the source to GitHub Actions. Create a workflow. Set the file name deploy.yml. Copy this. And paste it here. Commit. And wait a few seconds. All right. Here is our app on the root domain. 